Hello my friends, welcome to the Through the Eyes of George YouTube channel. Today what we're going to talk about is George Washington's belief in God and the biblical principles that he knew we needed as a country for the furtherment and birth of this nation. So George Washington always throughout his life was surrounded by godly people. For instance, at the beginning of his uh, young life, his mother Mary Ball and his father Augustus talked about God uh, as he was growing up. And George Washington attended church services growing up and you could say that he was an Anglican uh, Christian. Now in the year 1755, George Washington was in the midst of a battle in an area today known as Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania uh, during the French and Indian War. And George Washington during this battle had several horses shot out from under him. He also had uh, several bullet holes in his clothing. At the conclusion of this battle he came out unscathed and unharmed. And in the year 1789 during George Washington's first inaugural address as president he stated No people can be bound to acknowledge and adore the invisible hand which conducts the affairs of men more than the people of the United States. Every step by which they have advanced to the character of an independent nation seems to have been distinguished by some token of providential agency. This was on April 30th, 1789. George knew that for a formation of a country in this great experiment that they were doing and for the many millennia and years to come that it would have to be based in a godly sense. George knew that this country had to be tolerable of other people's religious beliefs no matter what they are and no matter what people believe no matter what you believe about God whether it's an intelligent design or you want to go to a synagogue or a mosque or a temple or what have you it's all protected under the First Amendment. Now, George Washington understood that. Now, in the year 1790, uh, in March 1790, George Washington also was talking to the Roman Catholic uh, Church of the United States. And he said, All those who conduct themselves as worthy members of the community are equally entitled to the protection of the civil government. I hope ever to see America among the foremost nations in examples of justice and liberality. George Washington knew that this country had to be founded on religious toleration. Again, I know some of you may not believe in God or may not believe in any Judeo-Christian values, and that's okay. But you know what? Whatever you believe is protected under the First Amendment. I'll have a uh, depiction of that at the end of this video. Now, your rights to believe in whatever you believe is protected under the Constitution. And George Washington would be very horrified to see people in the media or other people just in general in our country making fun of presidents or making fun of other people for believing in whatever they believe, whether it's a vice president or cabinet member or anybody in government or just an ordinary citizen. You have a right to believe whatever you believe. Furthermore, if a city or a state or a township wants to put up uh, some kind of uh, religious or godly um, uh, tablet or uh, depiction of some something uh, devotional or divine, that's their right. It's protected under the Ninth and the Tenth Amendment and the First Amendment. Now, and if people have a quarrel or a, uh, a disagreement with that, well, that's too bad because it's already protected under our Constitution, under our Bill of Rights. Now, if people don't like that, they can just move to a different state or a different city. Or, you know what? We have U.S. territories that people can move to that are wonderful places. Now, also in the year 1790, in April, George Washington also said to the Hebrew congregation of Newport, 
it is now no more that toleration is spoken of as it as if it were the indulgence of one class of people that another enjoy the exercise of their inherent natural rights for happily the government of the united states which gives to bigotry no sanction to persecution no assistance requires that only re requires only that they who believe under its protection should demean themselves as good citizens in giving it on all occasions their effectual support this is a book by Michael and Jana Novak called Washington's God. George Washington understood that, and that for this country to survive, we have to be tolerable of other people's beliefs in God. We shouldn't be shouting and discriminating against people. George Washington wouldn't like that. In his rules of civility and speaking of etiquette, if you disagree with somebody and what they believe, you can agree to disagree. You don't have to continue the conversation and let it get heated. George Washington, if you come at an impasse, you just move on. Now, George Washington knew that for a country to thrive and to grow, you have to see a lot of things that you may or may not disagree with or agree with. So I highly encourage you for more information and education, there's a book called The Spiritual Journey of George Washington by Janice uh, Cunnell. And one of my favorite books about George Washington that I've read several times called Being George Washington by Glenn Beck. These are very good sources of information if you want to uh, continue your uh, education in, in, on this topic. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll try to answer those. Click the notification bell and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your time and looking forward to seeing you soon.